if you have a wallet application or exchange or if you are trying to build one you already know how crucial it is for your users experience to deliver them timely notifications on the funds or transactions they receive so in this video we are going to see exactly that on how you can deliver notifications for transactions your users wallet addresses receive using quick alerts rest api So first of all, to use the Quick Alerts REST API, you'll need an API key. To get the API key, go to Quick Note Dashboard, then Quick Alerts, then go to API Keys, then create a new API key. And once you have it, copy it, and then we'll paste that in our code. But before that, let's look at the documentation. So using Quick Alerts REST API, first you need to create a destination and then we can create a notification on that destination so to create a new destination there are five parameters which you need to take care of first one is the name of your destination second is the url of your webhook destination third is your webhook type which is going to be post whenever you are posting a new webhook and then the fourth one is going to be service, which is going to be webhook. And then the fifth one is going to be payload type. So this is an interesting one. So payload type is basically the amount of information you want to receive. First is, of course, the block information. Second and third are transactions. And fourth and fifth are transaction receipts for that particular transaction. So we are going to use the fifth one, which is the transaction receipt for that particular transaction. Now let's see how we can use this or set up this in the code. So I have created this short script to deploy our webhook destination and I'm using this Xios library. You can install it by doing npm install Xios or npm Xios and then I'm declaring a data variable in which I am declaring the exact parameters destination parameters which we saw in the documentation the name the url of the destination the webhook type service and the payload type so over here the url is empty because we don't have a webhook key yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new webhook using a temporary webhook service called typed webhooks So type webhooks gives you a temporary webhook and you can use it for like testing out your quick alerts but whenever you will be deploying in production you will of course use a webhook which is for your app and delivers information to your application so let's go back to code paste it over here save it and then i am declaring a config variable in which we are going to configure the call the call is going to be a post call because we are setting a webhook destination and in that the url will be https api.quicknote.com slash quick alerts slash rest slash v1 slash destinations don't worry you don't have to memorize this you can just go to the quick alerts documentation and you can get the entire url from here and then Let's go back to our quick alerts dashboard, copy the API key and paste it in the code over here. Save it. And that's it. And over here, we are also importing the data variable, which we just declared over here in the beginning, which will contain the parameters of our webhook. And then we are sending the request to the quick alerts REST API using Axios library and then doing a try and catch block. So let's try to run this. All right, as you can see, we have successfully deployed our webhook destination or quick alerts destination. And this is the ID which we get from the console. But this is not the actual data you get you get various things let me try to show you that you get id the date and time 
of creation of webhook, date and time of updation of webhook, name, type of webhook, etc. So let's go back and get the ID, just ID. I'll run it again. All right, so we will need this destination or webhook destination ID to set our notification. So now let's look at the notifications part. So in the notification script, we have the similar thing as the destination script, just the parameters of the data part changes and the URL for the REST API changes. So let's look at the documentation, what these parameters are. So the first parameter is the name of your quick alert. Second parameter is the most important one. It's the expression. And that expression is the expression which we also saw in our last Telegram bot video. The expression is a combination of different transaction level, block level, or transaction log level variables using which you can track different activities on the chain. So in the REST API, this expression has to be in a base 64 encoded format. So you can just take this exact thing, go to any base 64 encoder online and convert it and then use it in your code. The third parameter is the network parameter on which you want to set the alert on. And the fourth parameter is the destination ID. The destination ID is what we got from the last step by running the destination script. So let's set up our alert. First of all, let's copy this destination ID, paste it in the destination ID array section. And this is an array because you can have your alert sent to more than one destination it can be multiple destinations and for the expression part we will need to create a wallet so let's see how you can create a new wallet in javascript so let's name the new file wallet.js and we will be using ethers.js library of javascript to create a new wallet you can install ethers.js by doing npm I ethers or npm install ethers. So first of all, let's import ethers by declaring a variable and then requiring the ethers library. Then let's create a wallet variable and create a new random wallet. So what this create random function does is it will create a new random wallet which is ethereum compliant and then let's paste or output the wallet address so in console.log wallet save it try let's run this Load wallet all right so we have created our new wallet address in javascript Let's pick this wallet address, go to uh, Google and do text to base 64. Then we are going to use a similar expression to track a wallet address. So what we are going to do is we are going to track transactions coming to and transactions coming from a wallet address. So let's just copy this expression and paste it over here let's go back to our code editor get the wallet address replace this with the new wallet address which we just made convert it to base64 copy this base64 expression go to notifications then paste it in expressions save it and that's it so the network which we are going to deploy our alert on is ethereum spolia which is the new ethereum testnet let's also change the name let's name it wallet 
new wallet transfers save it let's load notification all right so our quick alert is now deployed and you can see it gives us the id of the alert created updated date and time type expression account details as well as it also gives you the parameters which you deployed the alert with so the name expression network updated at created at etc let's send some sepolia eth on our newly created wallet address to get notifications and once the notification is fired we should see the data on this page because this is the webhook page so let's go to metamask send some heat let's send 0 0.1 next confirm the transaction all right so it's submitted and uh, once the transaction is confirmed the block is mined we should receive the notification over here all right so you can see we have already received a notification and metamask is yet to give us the notification so let's wait for metamask to give us notification all right so it's confirmed in metamask as well so this is how you can track transactions coming into a wallet address or coming out of a wallet address but the use case of quick alerts is not just limited to this quick alerts can be used to track basically any kind of activity happening on the blockchain check out the playlist linked in the description below which contains various videos on quick alerts and you can see how you can build your telegram bots discord bots or email notifications using quick alerts if this video was helpful for you make sure to like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such videos thank you